Baby, look at this hairline though. Between, I'm back with somebody else's scalp and hair, and guess what? It is wine and wig stay. Clink, 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 clink. Ain't nothing in here but backwash and a little tea bag. Let me get my water because I'm not trying to be fake around here. Here she go. We got a water. We got something to drink. Hi, how are y'all doing today? I hope you're doing well. If you're here, you're, you already know what you're here for. You wanna see what this scalp is hitting on. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you all the details on this wig. First, I want y'all to tell me what you're drinking. I'm hydrating with water. Y'all let me know what you're drinking down below. And while you're doing that, can you hit subscribe and the post notification. Can you hit subscribe and the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post. I come to you three times a week with unnecessary content. Let's go ahead and get into it. This wig is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous wig that looks so realistic it is crazy this wig tutorial is specifically for the girlies and the boys and the people in between that are looking for a wig that you don't have to do much to you can pull her right out of the box and throw it on her head and punch it because i pulled this right out of the box i didn't do nothing to it but pull it out of the box and apply it i want to say thank you to chris beauty hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video now we can go ahead and jump into the tutorial so if you want to hear all the details on this unit and you want to see how i applied it please keep on watching and then i'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and the coupon code testing one two one two let's go ahead and get started first i'm gonna have a sip of water before we get into the details on this wig let's go ahead and get into the details on this chris beauty hair wig i'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like bam this is the chris beauty hair wig box i love their boxes because it always looks so beautiful it's like a gift and of course inside of the box let's go ahead and open her up we have our wig but you also receive gifts that they provide to you with your wig purchase get the little clippy clips a good old wide tooth comb good for your natural hair and your natural looking wig oh these are good wig caps i know that's right brown skinned wig caps well these wig caps mine just so happen to be brown skin you call these uh perm rods or foam rollers let's go ahead and get into the wig this is my first time opening her look how pretty this is baby you see this you see that this wig is a 13 by 6 water wave wig with clear lace this wig is 18 inches long and 200 percent density this wig features what they call a clean hairline which means it's more natural than a pre-plucked hairline it's already pre-plucked and the knots are pre-bleached it looks more like your hairline it's not giving barbie doll as for inside of the wig inside of the cap you have three combs and adjustable straps in the back now let's go ahead and get into this lace now the lace that chris beauty hair features is clear lace now let me go ahead and give you the tea on clear lace now i know there are so many different types of lace out here in these streets we have as you can tell the clear lace is the best blend it's blending right into my skin this one's a little bit crinkled up my bad Clear lace always, for me, always blends into my skin seamlessly without me having to tint the lace or add any foundation to the lace. We love that. Now let's go ahead and get started with putting on this wig. Okay, so our hair is braided back and now we need to go ahead and apply the wig. I don't have on any makeup right now because when I'm applying clear lace, I notice that it applies much better on clean skin. No makeup, no nothing. Most wigs do, but clear lace really be hating. So let's go ahead and start with our base. Y'all already know, this is a no ball cap method channel. We'll do ball cap methods over here because um, frankly, I'm, oh, I spit. Frankly, I don't know how to do it. So let's go ahead and start with the, the faux ball cap method. I just take a wig grip, a dirty one at that. <laughs> The wig grip keeps your wig cap on and secure. So I'm gonna use, okay, just gonna pop the wig cap on. Okay, so our wig cap is on. It's close to our, our skin tone, but it's not perfect. On clear lace, it is see 
through. So if you have a wig cap, the world gonna see. So the best way for me to blend in my wig cap is to use any sort of makeup. This is the Insta Age Rewind Concealer in the color Deep Bronze. I've been using this and it works, baby. It be working. I gotta spread it around. I really need to get into the hairline as well. Y'all see how much warmer it is? So that's fully colored in. Y'all see how much warmer it is? It's closer. It's giving more of a ball cap. Y'all think, do you think, am I crazy? So now that we have our wig cap blended and it's closer to our skin tone, we can go ahead and get into applying this wig. We're gonna make this real quick and simple because once you pull this wig right out the box, honey, all you gotta do is put her on her head. All right, all right, all right. Y'all see what I said? Look how clear that lace is. So this is what the hair looks like. When we pull her out, oh my God, <laughs> yes. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at these curls. Okay, so as you can see, I'm gonna show y'all how far the parting space goes back. Oh, wow. Girl, we are parting for it. Girl, I'm about to hit my head on my desk. So let's go ahead and get into cutting off this lace. Where are my scissors? Y'all know I do the same sort of method, but first we need to just get the hair out the way. I'm not trying to cut bangs before cutting bangs, you know? So I'm just gonna clip the hair back. So when I cut my lace, I like to do a zigzag moment. Now you could just cut straight across if you want to. It starts to look real weird and it really gives, it looks like the equator, okay? Right there on your forehead. You don't need the equator. The equator is invisible though. So that didn't make sense. I like to start in the center and then I cut real slow and I do like zigzags. Oh, <gasps> that's what I was supposed to do, the hairline. <gasps> I knew I was forgetting something. Why did y'all tell me? When first we had to flatten the hairline, I forgot. Now I got a little hangnail. Hang lace, whatever, girl, it's just like hanging. So in order to flatten the hairline, I like to flatten the hairline first so when it's time to apply the wig, we ain't gotta worry about nothing. So how I flatten my hairline is basically by using the ZLA Flattening Souffle. I add it to the hairline, I let it dry down, and then I flatten it with a flat iron. So we're gonna use a little bit of the Flattening Souffle. And the great thing about using the flattening souffle is that once you prep your wig one time, it don't need to be prepped no more. You can take her off and then throw the wig back on like the next day or whatever, and you won't have to worry about the wig like looking a mess. I try not to use too much because I don't be trying to be sitting here trying to wait for my hairline to dry for years, so. And I like to take a baby hair brush and brush the hairline back. Well, what I used to do with my wigs is I would just put them on and then deal with the hairline later and make it an afterthought. I'll have hair under the lace, in the lace, on top of the lace, just, girl, just voguing on my forehead. For me, it was better to do it like this. I'm gonna, reinforce the flatation on this situation and wait until it dries. I'm just gonna tie it. And then we're gonna wait till she dries. Now I'm gonna hit it with the blow dryer to see if we can dry it pretty fast. Once it's dry, we're gonna hit it with our hot comb to get it super duper flat. Then we can cut the lace and apply the wig. Now we're gonna be back in business. The hairline is dry. We we are moving and shaking. We moving so fast. I lost, I popped off a thumbnail. Pour something out for my thumbnail, y'all. Now we need to just go ahead and flatten the hairline on this wig. I mean, take the hot comb. This is my Andis hot comb. Tried and true, had her forever, and she does her thing. So this is how I flatten it. I just take the comb, bow. I just, I don't pull the teeth all the way through. I just pull it through the roots. 
Oh, you got to be careful. Oh, girl, hot combing should be an Olympic sport. I'm telling you. Oh my God, it's scary. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> I like to do next uh, lastly is to take the back of the hot comb and just hit it with one so hit it with one so bow now that's complete now we can commence with cutting the lace we're gonna cut this lace so as I was doing before oh like I said we like to do a zigzag moment Now we can go ahead and apply our wig. The product that I like to use is this one right here. This is the Wig Dealer Touch Up Lace Bonding Gel. So this lace bonding gel is basically a gel, but it has an applicator tip that's like silicone. Basically you open her up, you twist it. See how that product's coming out? I kind of follow the hairline and I'll just apply the gel to the forehead. We're gonna work in sections. I be trying to do the whole forehead because I'm impatient. First, we're supposed to let her dry just for a little bit. Go ahead and pull her forward. Not the wrinkles. And I'm gonna stretch it down to apply her. And then I'll take a comb and then melt the rest of the lace. When I tell you, baby, can I? I'm gonna do this all the way across the forehead and once it's all the way complete I like to take some of the product and actually go over the lace as well after you get it stuck just blow dry it until on cool until it's completely dry
Okay, so the hairline is melted down. I don't know what it is about clear lace and one side always got a wrinkle in it. I don't be know, I don't know what I be doing. I figured I would do like a side part because this side is the side that had the wrinkle on it. So I was like, ooh, I got something for that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten the part. I really don't need to because it's pretty flat, but I'm still gonna flatten it anyway. So I'm just gonna use, where my wax stick at? Do I got a wax stick? Yeah. I'm just gonna use the wax stick. I'm using the ZLA Define and Contour Hairline Master wax stick. Here she is. I'm just gonna add it to the hairline, Hair, add it to the part. And then of course, we're gonna hit it with the hot comb once again, just to flatten it out. This is what the hair is looking like when it's combed out. So pretty, y'all know I love a fro moment, but I want to style the hair. Now, as you can see, it already has shape. It already has body, but I kind of want to give it like a little bit more shape and body. And y'all know I cannot resist not cutting a wig. Like I, I gotta cut it. I just, I gotta do it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the bottom just a little bit. Y'all know I like to get rid of bad ends. Even though the ends aren't that bad on this wig, I like for my ends to be blunt because it gives more body. So I'm just gonna cut. Okay, I need to make sure I don't lean this. Like. Ooh, super easy to cut through too. I know that's right. I only cut off like maybe an inch and a half. Look at that, it already looks fluffier and better. Now for the front. I don't know if I want a bang bang, but I want a little bit of a layeration. I'm just gonna cut downwards and angle down this way. Just to give it like a little bit more flavor, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Yes, like I just wanted a little bit more height to the height, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna go in here and then I'm gonna cut just a little bit again. I can feel that the ends up here are just a wee bit dry. So I'm just gonna cut off some of these. So I'm just going through and feeling. This is just intuition, girl. No rhyme or reason. I'm just feeling it and seeing where I feel like dryness. What I find on lace frontals is that the hair is a little bit drier at the ends. I don't know what that's about. If you do know, please let me know. On this side, I'm just taking like a little section in the front and I'm just gonna layer downwards just a little bit. Just to kind of make it match the other side. Now baby, this wig is not cheap, so don't be going around here doing what I'm doing. But I just like to shape up my wigs before I ship them out. I know that's right. Oh girl, it looks bigger. <gasps> yes. Okay, I'm just gonna, this part was sticking out. Oh, she looks big, baby. Y'all already know what time it is, but I've been doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna add a little bit of moisture to the hair, then add the mousse. Hey, girl. Hey. Now that she's done, we can go ahead and add the mousse. So what I've been using is the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse. It's the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Mousse. I love using this, but I noticed I be using too much and the girls had said, use a little bit of water first. And that's what I'm gonna do. I like to use a little spray bottle with some water to douse the hair. I'm just gonna spray the hair down. It's supposed to be continuous spray, but I keep squeezing it like it's not. Oh my God, there's water everywhere. I don't like this. 
So we've added the water to the hair just to get a little moisture in the system. And now we're just gonna start with adding mousse to it. So I'm gonna work in sections, but I'll start on this side first. When I'm adding the mousse to the hair, I like to also use my Evolve 572 brush. This is my girl. I'm gonna use these two together and we're just gonna get the curls clumping. Do y'all wanna see the hairline? I should show it to you, huh? Now let's see what, Oh. Oh girl, this is stuck, stuck. Not like Chuck, oh my God. When I tell you that is a hairline, I know that's right. This hairline is giving. Oh, it, now y'all know I'm the queen of the shiny forehead. It looks somebody just did a little, a little lick on it, but that's okay. I feel like I need to melt it a little bit more because this part is really sticky. I ain't mean for that to happen. So I'm gonna plop this one on since it's, it hasn't been corrupted. Put this back on because we want the hairline to remain flat. So I'm just gonna tie this down. Oh my God, I can't hear anything. I done covered my ears. So let's go ahead and add the mousse and clump the curls together. In the meantime, I'm gonna listen to me some true crime. I can't hear anything. Okay, so we've added a little bit of mousse to the hair. The hair is all clumped up and stuff. Now we need to reveal the hairline. The hair is like, I would say like 50% still wet. So girl, it's wet. <laughs> but stuck. But look. 
Baby, look at this hairline though. Do I even need baby hairs? No, I don't. I don't. Do I want them? Yes, I do. But look at this. Whenever I skip town, girl, this wig is going with me. Like really get into it. Y'all see the wrinkle in time? It's right here. Okay, even though I'm, I'm standing and I'm obsessed with this hairline, I gotta do baby hairs. I can't live without them. It's been, I've been itching. I wanna do one baby hair right here. The thing is, the hair is kind of stuck. <laughs> see if I can brush it for it, cause it's gel. There we go. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit more hair. So I take, where are my shears? Okay, so I'm gonna cut the baby hair real short. Bam, how you like me now? Use the Got To Be Glued Invincible Styling Gel. This is like the clear one. I'm gonna lay down these baby hairs. It's gonna swoop it. Like so, like that. There we go. Okay, the little swoop to do did this thing. I'm gonna have to clean up this mess that's on my face. Like, girl, what? <laughs> oh, it's giving it more of that like realistic sort of look. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I may do an ear tab one, I don't know. But let me just do this little baby hair here. Why am I making a face? Y'all, this is the finished look, and I am obsessed. Chris Beauty Hair, XRS Beauty Hair, however y'all wanna say it. I I'm so excited. Nothing compares to what this wig looked like. I mean, look at her. Look at that hairline. I didn't even do the ball cap method, and it's still giving very much scalp. Like, somebody need to take me somewhere. Like, where's the girl sign? Is my man gonna take me out? Like, what are we doing? I need to run to Target. Somebody needs to see this. The hair is absolutely gorgeous, fluffy. The curls look so natural. I don't even wanna take this wig off tonight. I ain't gonna lie. Let me show you what it looks like in the back. Hold on, I gotta, I always gotta fluff it out a little bit. You see them curls? Oh. The curls are so bouncy and soft that it's, it, I mean, like, I don't even know what to say. The hairline is hairlining. Like, you can 
kind of see my wig cap like a little bit, a little bit right here. But if you looking that hard, then you a hater. But you looking for? Her. Ain't nothing up there for you. I'm in love with this wig. If you are in love with this wig or you would like to try her out, of course, I have a coupon code. But first, before I give you the coupon code, I wanna say thank you to Chris Beauty Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Now, let's go ahead and get you some money off, okay? So, if you would like to purchase this unit, you can get 15% off your purchase by using the coupon code XRS377. I'll leave a link for it down below. It'll also be posted here on the screen, one of these sides. There's nothing else to say. I just get a good look. One last gander. The curls are for the girls. Ooh, there's a couple wrinkles right there. That's all right. Little Botox ain't gonna hurt nobody. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Why am I pointing? Oh, cause I ain't got no fingernail. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, why do I always do this? Well, this is how I wave now. Bye. <laughs>